Hey everyone, I know I told you guys I would be doing like the van life living. Um, I believe I told you guys I had a minivan, an 03 Town & Country, that I decided to live in um, full time. Um, I still have my job and everything. I just live, you know, this, this is like my, this is basically where I live. I still have my job. I, I haven't went all the way, like, you know, off the grid or whatever. So, this is going to be a review on things. Actually, let me show y'all. My van's not all the way together. But this is, I almost been in my van for like a week. Almost a week. Um, this is just currently what I have right now. Let me show you guys. So this is my generator and I'm getting a rock pile at 300 watts. Um, I rarely use it. I've been using it today to charge my stuff. It has a built in uh, flashlight or whatever. Those are reflect, reflect, you know, on the windows to keep, it does help a lot. I got them on all the windows. I don't have them on the front. This is just temporary. This is something, you know, I had in my old apartment. I just threw up real quick, you know, to have some form of privacy. But I'm going to change that or I'm going to actually put black in the front of it. Get some fabric and all that. And actually, I'm going to get like a thermal blanket that's black and just put it right in front of there. And it's going to fill up the gap up top how it's going to be. But yeah, this is my bed. Um, what I have my bed on, this is my mess right here. Everything's not organized yet. You know, last minute living situation, I decided. But I wanted to do a review on these ULC, the Candelier. I'm in Boston, Massachusetts right now, and it gets cold. Luckily, it has not been consistent snow. There's snow on the ground that's been there for a while, but nothing, you know, on there. And that was one of my fears. Um, I was scared of doing a propane heater. Cause you know carbon poisoning and stuff like that you know that's that's the main concern when doing this type of, of living so i wanted this i only been here, almost here a month this is my only heat source at the moment um i was gonna get like a little 100 to 200 watts heater but i didn't you know like i said i haven't used this generator yet so i don't have an exact you know a consistent I have consistency with, with that basically. Okay, so this is my thermostat that I have that monitors the inside heat and the outside, but I lost the um, outside one. It didn't stay on the outside of the van, so I gotta get a whole nother one. But I'm gonna still use this one. So the inside temperature right now is a uh, 67, but I'm gonna get my review on these. I bought these on Amazon. I saw a review on YouTube. Um, I bought these on Amazon for like. $36, $39 each. I ended up getting two of them, um, just in case. And I bought, now when you buy these, these come with three candles. I didn't know that. They come with the candles already inside them. And then I bought four to five cases of candles. These are supposed to be good for nine hours. Um, and these are my reviews. These do help a lot, a lot. Um, depending on your, like I said, this is my living quarters right now um the first night I only used one and it was pretty cold but it was like 20 some degrees outside and then you know as it's warming up I, I like two but you get a 20 like the candle pack that I bought where you get 20 candles for about $25 you know price wise that adds up you know but I did that for every two weeks so that's gonna be like what um sorry y'all you know, that's 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 up. That's like a hundred some dollars every two weeks. You know, just to heat up. You know, but I'm gonna say this: when I was a truck driver, I wish I had these. You know, because the last company I worked for, they didn't have inverters, and I wish I would have got a generator as well for like the hot summer days. But this is this is helpful. Now, when these burn. Let me see if I can adjust these. This is where it becomes a pain in the ass. Okay. So, this is how it is. It has a spring in here that's supposed to push the candle up or whatever. So, you know, you'll slide the candle through there. 
put this on the bottom. Uh, and then, you know, they got this uh, slide thing. Now, where these become a pain in the ass is, like I said, like when these are, are coming to an end, you'll feel it. But these do get stuck. You see that the spring that I show you? It's supposed to push the candle up as it melts. But they get stuck. And sometimes the candle will like stop right here and they don't burn out. And um, it's messy. Very messy. <laughs> like, like it, it's a pain when it's cold and you're trying to... This isn't a quick process to put in another candle. And you get waxed every goddamn where. Like, excuse my language, but it's everywhere. <laughs> um, like I said, two helps. It's best. Like, I had them hanging on, like, the, uh, you know, like where you put your clothes at. And it was, oh, sorry. Let me and it was all right. But I feel like they're best when they're um a little bit lower. Like, I have, ugh, hold on, guys. I got to go back here. I sit them both on this table that I have behind the bed. Which is just, everything's just temporary right here at the moment. But, um, hold on. Let's see if I can get this generator to move with me. Sorry, y'all. Oh, I just plugged up to it. Okay, like, okay, this is the table that I have back here. This is everything that I had that was inside the candle, you know, wax that wasn't used. Like, this one got stuck in there. Like, you know, I could have used that, you know, but th this is everything I have to clean out in order to put new candles in. And that part's a bit annoying, but it does help. But um, also, 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 cooking. Now, this top part gets extremely hot, extremely, which is awesome. Cause I'll put a can of soup. I put like, you know, a cup of tea, a can of soup up here and it, it will heat it up. Like, like perfect hot, hot, like, this works awesome for food. I will say this is good, but as a main heating source, um, I think about getting Mr. Buddy, like the indoor out one, outdoor one. I saw a video where the guy was like, you know, ventilation, and he keeps the propane outside the van at night. But overall, like, like, um, like with five stars, I'm gonna have to say this would be like a three and a half, close to four. Like I said, this is my main heating source, so I would give it a four on that when it, you know, does heat up. It heats up, heats up pretty warm. But, like, the exchange of putting new candles in and, you know, doing all that, that that's a pain in the ass. <laughs> but I'm going to have to say, like, a three to four. Um, I would give it five stars if, you know, the springs worked inside. Like, like it's a really big mess. Like, it takes me a good, like, almost 10 minutes to put in some new candles and get, like, the old wax out because it would build up. And just that is messy. Um, but so I'm going to say 3.75 stars. <laughs> like, it's, it's there. It's almost there. It just needs a few tweakings. But what I'm going to do is I saw on YouTube this guy put, um... Okay, they made some oil lamps, like a little oil lantern, little mini things, the same size. And he put like three or four in these. So I'm going to try that and see, you know. But I already bought five boxes of candles. So <laughs> I'm going to, you know, use these up. But also do like a side by side of like the oil and the candles, you know, just to show you guys. But that's my review on these. Um, I say they're pretty cool, but price wise, like forty dollars, and then whole box of candles extra twenty five. But if you're a full time like van life, you know, person like me, the the cost adds all the way up. So talk to you guys later.